Alright, I want to apologize first for the, what is going to be crappy video quality. I, this is the only good camera that I have, and I don't have a stand for my phone, so I'm actually wedging the phone in between my shoe to be able to do this. I have made a filter that, by the time this video is done, will be put on Thingiverse, and I decided to show assembly instructions. So, the first thing is these two. This right here, and this slightly bigger one right here. This is optional, but if you want to magnify something, see, I have a magnifying glass that I disassembled. If you don't have a terribly good zoom lens, and you want to take larger pictures of the sun for the up upcoming solar eclipse, you can get this. Camera has a little trouble focusing, but making the ap aperture smaller um, seems to help with that. So first, I have these little ridges in here. They're hard to see with the camera. That helps a little bit with centering it, but you're going to... Oh, this is awkward to do. You're going to want to center it as much as you can. Not fingerprint up the whole thing. And then this one right here, the smaller one, just fits right in like that. See? And no rattle, no nothing. It's nice and tight. This is optional. You would only do this step if you want a magnifying filter over everything else. Now, with the camera, this little ring right here is actually very important. It will sit in between the glass lens of the camera and the glass shade 14 welding glass, so they won't scratch each other up. You don't want to scratch your camera lens. You especially don't want to scratch a camera lens, but you don't really want to scratch the glass either. It's fingerprinted up. Fingerprints can be wiped off though, so that just fits in like that pretty nicely. And then you just put this over like this. Like that. And I'm going to flip this up. Um, shit. There we go. And now this part right here will go... Let me just... Let me just, let me just, there we go. This, you center this, put this in, you push down, you might want to twist a little bit. And look at that. It's on. It's not coming off that easily. And you have uh, come on, shoe. There we go. You have a nice Pretty tight, but can be removed fairly easily. Camera that, if I turn it on, and I'll just put on autofocus for a moment, you will see. That will still autofocus. Now the extra weight puts a little bit of stress on the autofocus. But you see, it's autofocusing. So I really shouldn't be using autofocus for taking pictures of the sun anyway. Let's switch that back to manual. I have no issue with manually focusing. And there you go. I said one more thing, and the camera decided to just stop recording. Um, the phone camera, that is. If you want to take this off, recommend switching to manual focus. You just pull upside down so you don't accidentally have the glass slip. Um, this is awkward. And you twist a little bit, and there you go. It comes off. And here's all your nice things. You can then 
flip it. There you go. Now it's easy to put on and easy to take off. Why is there always a train going by when I start recording? Anyway, the plastic that I used is PETG. I haven't been able to successfully print it with ABS with it fitting because of ABS's thermal expansion. So I wouldn't recommend that. You could use PLA. It's not going to be as strong as PETG and it will not be as temperature resistant. So it won't last long, but I think you should be able to still, within the time frame of the solar eclipse, be able to successfully use something printed out PLA. Recommend bright colors whenever possible because those generally don't do as bad with thermal warping as the darker colors. They don't get as hot. I used shade 14 welding glass as the material to protect the sensor from constant exposure to the sun. You might be able to get away with lower shades. I would not do anything under shade 9, but do that at your own risk. I cannot guarantee that anything less than shade 14 will protect the sensor with constant exposure to the sun. You can also use solar filters if you have those available and just cut them in a the circle. It's also true that if you do not have any means to cut glass or don't have any circular glass, but you do have one of those big sheets, you can be able to just rubber band them around the camera. I'll try to find an image that I found online. Focusing and zooming might be difficult if you do that, but you should at least be able to have the magnifying glass underneath the protective lens if you want to take that route instead.